I'm sure you've all heard about the riots currently taking place in London and across the UK. It's been about three days now and I've sat back with the rest of the world in disbelief of what's going on, especially being in my own country. But pretty much, I want to drop my own two cents on this subject. I mean, I've, I've made a quick list that I'm going to read off to you right here. But yeah, pretty much, first subject would be the cause, and I don't mean the political bullshit that these thugs are giving you. There was no political reason behind this. It's all about the culture and how youths in today's world, or the UK, are being raised, and the parenting, and what youths have to do in their spare time, because pretty much that's what it's boiling down to. Next is uh, what went wrong. Why do we have such violent youth population, blah, blah, blah. How the riots are being handled and what should be done, if you ask me, and possibly anyone else in the UK that's in my corner. Uh, what can be done to prevent future mindless violence and possible changes to the law. But I'm at, uh... God, I haven't done a commentary in a long time. I'm going to give you a quick backdrop to pretty much what's happened. Uh, maybe three or four nights ago, there was a... The police had done a sting operation to arrest some guy that they believe was doing... I don't, can't remember if it was a drugs dealer or an arm dealer. Either way, it's pretty heavy stuff. And uh, what we know so far is Mark Dugan, 29-year-old, father of four, bloody blah, who cares, pulled out a gun on an officer. They returned fire and they killed him and... This is the, supposedly there's a protest and then it got out of hand from there. Maybe the protest started off as being straight up political. People don't believe that officers should use guns. Me personally, the, the, the police they're going to run into danger. They need some sort of protection. I mean, they've got freaking battens against morons with machetes. But yeah, it started off like that and then descended into this mindless chaos that we're watching on the TV now. But yeah, let's move on to my first topic, which is that there was no political cause, and that this is caused by mindless thugs, pretty much. And, uh, but yeah, as I've said, I don't believe there is any political cause behind this. This is just thugs at their finest. Um, the reason people are doing this, in my opinion, they have nothing better to do. In the UK, there is a high level of unemployment. People have no money. They have nothing to do because they have no money. Uh, we live in a world where it's so materialistic. In today's world, you need money to enjoy yourself, especially in a country like the UK or the USA. If we want to address this problem, we obviously need to look at things on a bigger scale. It needs to be how the law system's working, stricter, stricter, the stricter punishments. In the UK, you can get 25 years for finding out your wife's cheated on you, pushing her to the ground and she dies, compared to being some moron fuck that's beat down a disabled guy and nearly killed him, you could get five years. These rioters in London, they may only get, they may get a little away, they may get a fine, they may get a warning, community sentence, two years at the most, which is absolutely pathetic because, hey, the guy that accidentally killed his wife, he can be put away for 25 years and the regret and sorrow of doing so. It's enough of a punishment, but these thugs, these guys will never change. These guys need a need to be stood in front of a firing squad and just take what they deserve. So yeah, obviously, without more information, I can't quite expand on how we're going to sort the economy and how we're going to have low levels of unemployment and the rest of it. But pretty much, I just wanted to put out there that these people are rioting for no political cause. They're rioting because they're thugs and. They need a taught a good lesson. But yeah, at the moment in the UK, from what I've seen on the news, it's pretty darn pathetic how these the, the law is handling it. And obviously, it's not the law's fault. It's the guys up above. It's the government. It's your prime minister and the the MPs that are, have set out these rules to, as how the police can act. And pretty much all the police can do at the moment is roam London and watch. Like they can move people on. They haven't made many. Arrest, considering how many people they say has been out there. They say about 
close to close to a thousand people have been riding. I think this is the numbers was estimated seven hundred youths. It's some of them aged between eleven and twenty five. 11 years old, I mean, just goes to show you how many people are unfit for parenting in this country. But yeah, so, we've got police just roaming with riot gear that can't really do anything. When, in my honest opinion, what they need to do is just lock down any city that starts riot. I mean, we've seen America do it, we've seen Greece do it. They just lock down the city, anyone on the streets, they cuff you. Uh, they set up perimeters where no one can get in. And they just shift everyone out with that, and if they can't, then they roll in a tank. Why Why don't we just do that? I mean, fuck what other people think. Fuck what the public's going to think. There's, I, mean, there's, I don't I don't have figures, but I can assure you there's probably millions of pounds worth of damages. We've seen some big major buildings being burnt down there. It's only just distribution centre, so we're probably looking at maybe tens of millions. We're looking at uh, people's houses being burnt down. We're looking at young, innocent victims that are seriously injured or dead. I don't, I don't actually, I don't know if they've announced anyone dead. I think they're trying to keep that under wrap. But if there ain't anyone dead, I will be astounded. I won't actually believe it. So yeah, that was my next point. I don't think anyone's happy with how things have been handled. And the, me the, the media and the... The MPs are all trying to say, oh, London 2012 will be fine. Look at how we're handling this. Um, uh, so I've been on going on for three nights now. Anyone else would have had this place locked down in a day and a half. Yeah, pretty much it's it's getting late now. I've done this commentary at 4, 4 a.m. in the morning. But I just want to kind of rehash what I said. I'm not happy with how the riots have been handled. I think the, the media is bullshitting as well how it's been handled. Uh, there was no political cause, this is just thugs that are looking for an excuse to riot and loot and steal and be violent because they've nothing better to do and their lives aren't going to get any better. I think major changes should be made to the law and how uh, these minor, inverted comma, crimes work because I can guarantee you a lot of these guys that have burnt down people's homes and whatever else and... and uh, seriously injured police, they, they aren't going to get very much. Um, what else? Yeah, I think more money has to be spent on educating these people from a young age that this isn't right and that it won't be acceptable. I think harsher punishments also need to be in place, both as a deterrent and justice served, you know? But yeah, I think I'm going to wrap this up, listen to this commentary back, and if I post it, then it probably means I'm quite happy with it, and it was nice talking to you guys again, it's quite odd doing a commentary again. But uh, uh, this is Sean, I'll see you all later. Hey there guys. So it's Sean again, and if anyone has listened to this much, <laughs> I thank you for listening through my rabble. I have listened to the commentary back in. Uh, I wasn't quite happy with what I heard, but I haven't done a commentary in a long time, and I did put quite a fair band to this one. It took a lot for me to get in front of the mic again, and I don't know, it felt qu quite awkward, and yeah, if anyone's ever done a commentary and then took a break, it, you'll know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I never got the, the full point across of what I wanted to say, but I think the raw emotion and just what, what a... Kind of just the basis of what I wanted to talk about was there, so I'm going to post it, um, yeah, post it because I miss commentating. I wish I could commentate more, but uh, Fraps is just crapped out on me. Every time I go to record, it's, it's awful lag. Yeah, the gameplay you've actually watched uh, was recorded quite a while back. It was my first two games back after months. you actually see on Freeter that... There was more, this was actually, I was playing with a mate who was around one night, he played all the previous games and I decided that I would go for two two games at Clash. I wanted like a run and gun game and then I wanted a camping game. I think I got the camping game first and then the run and gun. Ah, oh, well, I can't actually remember. But yeah, if you have watched this far, uh, feel free to post it up in the comments and I'll give you a cookie. I don't know. But yeah, guys, if there is any gameplay left, I'll... Uh, I'll leave it running for you, you know. Hopefully, come back to commentating soon. And I love y'all. Bye-bye.